French Bulldogs are really good at sitting around and being cute. And no one will argue with that. He's not a dog. He's, he's part of my family. <laughs> are you tired? I love the French Bulldog. The pushed-in face, the adorable snorting, the French Bulldog. Surprisingly, the French Bulldog actually comes from England. During the Industrial Revolution, English artisan workers, especially lace makers, wanted little companions around to improve the quality of their lives. They turned first to a dwarf version of the English Bulldog, then crossed that with the Pug and the Terrier. And boy, did that calculated crossbreeding work. Frenchies come in brindle, fawn, white, and black, and a mix of all those colors. They usually stand between 11 and 13 inches tall and shouldn't weigh over 28 pounds. Because they're so top heavy, they can't swim. They're more anchor than buoy. Part of the reason for this is their characteristically smushed in face. Frenchies are known as brachycephalic dogs. This refers to dogs with short noses. Frenchies have a very short head compared with the length of their cranium. Oftentimes, this results in either an elongated or clefted soft palate. Brachycephalic dogs, dogs with push faces, do tend to have a lot of health issues. This makes them noisy, labored breathers. For this reason, Frenchies are not comfortable in heat or playing hours of fetch. Come here. This adorably mushed in face gives way to one of the cutest characteristics of Frenchies, their face wrinkles. These wrinkles are a genetic hand-me-down. Bulldogs were bred to have these wrinkles on the face to flow blood away from the eyes, should the dog be wounded in a fight. Another Frenchie must, those bat ears. Bred to have perked bat-like ears, early breeders preferred droopy rose ears, but now all Frenchies have to have bat ears. And lastly, the French Bulldog has some serious reproductive challenges. For one, it cannot naturally reproduce. Because it is so top heavy, has such narrow hips and weak legs, the male cannot successfully mount the female. They need to be artificially inseminated. And even more remarkable, because they have such large heads in proportion to the rest of their body, that when the dam is trying to pass the puppies, um, oftentimes the canal, the opening, is not big enough. All of this makes the breeding tricky and consequently a bit more expensive. But on the flip side, you can be sure that your dog's heritage was carefully planned. Frenchies are great companions. They like to be near you, so take them on errands. Because they require little exercise, they do really well in apartment living situations. Probably one of the top three most popular breeds in New York City. With a short coat of hair, they're very easy to groom. It's basically just a wash and, and clip the nail situation. Be sure to keep those cute wrinkles on the face dry and free of moisture. Because of their special respiratory system, they don't breathe very well and can also be prone to thyroid conditions, eye irritations, and spinal diseases. Although they can be taught some tricks, Frenchies are notoriously Good stubborn. Boy. They never bite, but are more interested in being pleased than pleasing you. They're really pretty much bred for being the boss of the house. Let go, let go, let go, please, please. I consider this to be a great family dog and a great pet. Frenchies do well in small spaces, they do have health issues, and they're easy to groom. These dogs are stubborn, but do well with all members of the family. If you scratch its belly, it'll love you forever.